Hey everybody, today we're going to go over audio sources, how to create them, and how to adjust their properties. Let's first create an audio source by clicking on the Create tab up here, scrolling down to the miscellaneous column, and then clicking on Audio Source. When we do that, it changes our cursor into an audio source icon where wherever we click, we'll place that audio source at that location. We can then go ahead and move that audio source wherever we want to. I've already actually placed one here on top of this sphere in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the level, so we have a physical representation of this audio source's location since the icon disappears when we get when we get into game. Let's go ahead and look at the properties of this audio source. As you can see here, we can set several different properties: the bank resource name, the box extents, the event name, positioning from which there's three different behaviors, shape from which there's three different shapes, and the sphere radius setting that we can adjust here. Let's go ahead and set the, the bank first, default bank, and then we'll set the event name here. Sound source test is the event we want to use. And as we can see, as soon as we set the event, it shows us a debug visualization of the attenuation radius. And that attenuation is set here in Ys underneath its positioning tab. And we can see that the distance we have set is 5 units, so at max distance, or 5 units away from center, it will get at its lowest volume point. And we can adjust this and many other settings with inside of the attenuation radius here. We can set the low pass filter, the high pass filter, spread and focus. And currently I just have a very simple linear fall off over 5 units. Let's go back into Stingray here. So as I get into the game, what we can see here is now when I step close to that uh, physical sphere, we can see the attenuation radius appear to us, and the sound actually starts emanating from its location, that little crosshair that you can see there right on top of the sphere. As I move my camera around, and the camera is actually set to the listener, so as I move that listener around, you can hear the sound attenuate and uh, positionalize uh, correctly in space. So it's off to my right side, and now it's off to my left side. And as I leave the attenuation radius, it disappears. Let's change the behavior here to random and shape. Random and shape, what will happen as we go in to the attenuation radius here, will um, position the sound somewhere randomly around this entire radius. So it positions the sound in space and affixes it to that location randomly once I enter into the audio source's um, radius. So let me show you that as I walk down here and get close to the uh, sphere on the ground. As soon as I get in here, it'll randomly place the sound and it put it up there in the sky. So it'll, if that attenuation that I had was set bigger than five units, we would be able to hear it, of course. But since it's five units and it placed it up there, we can't hear it. But as I exit the um, rate the radius around the audio source, it'll um, actually remove the sound from playing in that space and then when I re-enter the radius it'll place it in a new position in this case it placed it pretty close to where I could hear it right there in the sky right next to it and again as I leave the radius it disappears and when I re-enter it it'll reappear again in a new location so that's random in shape it'll, re it'll replace the sound every time you exit and enter it in a random spot around this attenuation radius here that we have set. Now if I set the uh, the behavior to random around listener, every time I enter the radius, it'll place the sound randomly around the listener's uh, location. So the listener again is the camera, and every time I get close to the, um, the uh, audio source's radius, it'll place the sound randomly around the location from which the listener entered and then it affixes it there in space. Until, of course, I leave the uh, radius, then it disappears. I'll re-enter it again, it'll place it right next to my camera, the listener, in a random spot. It was a little bit to the right and in front of the camera. Once we leave the radius again, it'll disappear, and so on. Every time I enter, reappears, like that. So that's the three different behaviors, and these three different behaviors change based on the shapes that you choose. Let's change the shape to box. Now when we do that, we see a new debug visualization here, 
that changed from a point source to a box and there are two different shapes an exterior shape by this green shape that's out here and the blue shape the interior shape and the difference between the two is the attenuation that you have set with inside of wise so the exterior shape once the listener enters in this exterior shape the sound will start to attenuate up until we get to the blue shape the interior shape from which then we are at zero or the highest point in the volume of the attenuation but while we're in this little this little space between the two shapes what will happen is it'll positionalize it and slide it along the interior shape that's when we have the positioning again set to closest to listener let's look at this in game it'll be a little more clear when we get in here so I spawned right in the interior shape and the sound is actually tracking along with me the listener the camera until and I actually set these two little white uh, lines on the ground representing the interior shape and the exterior shape and as soon as I exit what it'll do is it'll place the sound and keep it in the inside and it'll track alongside that it'll track along on the inside of that interior shape so as I'm walking back and forth it's kind of dollying the sound to the right of me as I play it so I can jump up and down and it's tracking me like that as I move up and down and I changed it so it's now on the left side and it's moving along. Now if I get closer it's getting louder as I get cl um, um, further away closer to that exterior shape it's attenuating down to its almost zero point in volume. Once I enter back into the interior shape it'll affix itself to the listener and then move along with me as I'm running around inside this interior shape. This has a, a really good use case scenario for something like um, an ocean or a lake. You could put uh, you know, waves lapping from the ocean or the lake around the entire uh, lake and as you're walking around the lake it'll positionalize it and then when you walk into the lake it'll play all around you as you're in there. Or let's say you have a big house that's creaking and making creaking noises. You can change the box extent so they fix all the way around this this uh, creaking house and as we approach the house we can hear it coming from the house itself until we enter the house and now we hear the creaking all around us. So that's a, a that's the uh, box shape with closest to listener as its behavior. Now if we change it to sphere with closest to listener the same behavior will happen but um, it'll be in a sphere shape so we can see that there's an exterior sphere represented by the green and an interior sphere represented by the blue. Same exact behavior though is that it'll track along with me when I'm in between the two spheres until I enter the interior which will be loudest and then stay with me until I exit and then it'll, it'll track alongside the inside of this interior sphere and attenuate out until I leave both spheres. Alright let's change this back to box box here and then we'll change it to random in shape. Now we'll test this in game. When I get uh, close to the um, entire radius as a whole, again as we saw before with the point uh, shape that it will place the sound randomly in a location until we exit the entire audio source's radius and then we come back into it and it places it in a new location somewhere inside of it randomly exit and then enter it and you can see it over there again. So that's random in shape with box, random in, in uh, positioning with box as its shape. Uh, we'll change this to random around listener as box as the shape and we'll test that. Now again as I leave the attenuation and then I come back in, uh, as I leave the shape sorry and then come back in it'll place it randomly around the listener's head once I enter and then leave it there until I exit again come back in again and it placed it randomly around the listener right there until I exit again. So as you can see with these behaviors and with the shapes you can really come up with some very flexible ways from which to play audio inside your game. It's a very powerful system and it's also important to note that this is how you play sounds when it's not attached to a unit. You can play sounds through the level flow and attach them to various units and triggers um, with inside flow. But this is a way to do it by placing sounds in your actual level with a whole bunch of different variety of ways and behaviors. It's a very powerful system and I hope you have fun with it.